I'll tell you the only difference between a two and a half thousand dollar website. Very clever, Simon Major. <laughs> the difference between a two and a half thousand dollar website and a twenty five thousand dollar website. I'll tell you the difference. It's not how fancy your API integrations are, and it's not the code, and it's not the theme, and it's not the font or the topography or the UX. It's the client's capacity to get a return on investment. That's the only difference. You cannot sell a $25,000 website to a fish and chip shop because they have zero capacity to get a return on that investment, right? So you're wasting your time. The amount of work that actually goes into selling a 25, to building and selling a $25,000 website is no different to selling a $2,500 website, except the client that you're talking to. Their, their business model needs to have the capacity to be able to get a return on that investment. And let me, let me, also, just, let me also just remind you of this, right? If you haven't seen this, this is, <clears throat> This has never been truer right now because of what we're going through. When we, here's, here's what clients earn, sorry. Here's what clients will pay you and here's what they earn, right? So if a client is earning less than 500k a year you know they'll probably pay 5k for a website if they're earning 10 million dollars a year right well if you're not quoting them at least 50k for a website they'll laugh you out of the room now let's just imagine there are some different brackets of the market here okay most of us when we start out start here because it's comfortable, the stakes aren't very high. You can see I'm a designer, can't you? All right, most of us start out here because it's comfortable. We can sell a website for five grand to someone who's making 500 grand. No, no worries, there's no board meetings, there's no like RFPs, it's a pretty easy process. You add some value, you have a meeting, you write a proposal, they approve it. And it's pretty comfortable to do this. Uh, however, there are also agencies who sell here. And there are also agencies who play in this space. And there are also agencies who play in this space, right? But here's the thing. As you get out and you start dealing with clients who have bigger budgets because they earn more, and they actually have the capacity to get a return on that investment, there's fewer agencies serving that end of town. Now, I'm not suggesting you have to be out here because being out here is a pain in the ass, right? You've got to, you've got to do RFPs, you've got, it's a long sales cycle, there's a whole bunch of stress involved in that. So I'm not suggesting you have to be out here. But my question is, why aren't you here? Why isn't that you? Because have a look at the most competitive bracket in that market. Where's the most competition in that market? There. Being cheap actually makes it harder to get clients. Because there's more competition. Right? So all you need to do, and, and, he, and he, here's, here's the thing. Here's, what, here's this line here, right? Here's what keeps you here. The myth, what keeps you here is the myth that what I'm selling is worth a $1,000 down payment and two ninety nine dollars a month. What I'm selling is worth that. What I'm delivering is worth that. That's the myth that keeps you stuck in that part of the market, which is the most competitive sector in the market. And that's what keeps you there is the myth the untruth, the belief, the unproven belief that what you're delivering is worth that much. What enables you to do this is the truth. 
So when someone first paid me 25 grand for a website and I built that website and realized that it was the same amount of work in building a website that I'd built the previous month for four grand and it was massively profitable and it was for a nonprofit that worked in the drug and alcohol sector and I loved the work that they did and I just loved them as a client. All of a sudden, I had a new belief that what I deliver is worth $25,000 as a project to the right client who has the budget and has the capacity to see a return on that investment. Because the solution that I built for them saved them so much time, it saved probably three staff half their year in managing their old archaic website that was built on an old stupid Microsoft thing that they couldn't even use. So they got a massive return on their investment. They had allowed them to scale up their communication with the sector with all, they were the peak body for the drug and alcohol sector in Melbourne. They were putting out three or four emails a day. So we plugged their RSS into Campaign Monitor, very simple automation that worked for them. They got a massive return on investment, turned out to be one of my best clients. And all of a sudden, I believed because it was true, because it had happened, that what I was delivering was worth $25,000 to the right client who had the capacity to get a return on that investment. So right now, more than ever, people are discounting and going cheap to get the business. And it's actually going to make it harder for you to get work if you go cheap, because that's where everyone's playing. It's really competitive. And there's, you've, got, you've got nothing to compete on there except price.